Today we have a very special product review and playtest in store for you all as our friends from Yonix Tennis uh, came out with the Yonix Percept. Now if you're familiar with the Yonix Racket Tennis line, you'll be familiar with the Yonix V-Core and the V-Core Pro. Now the V-Core is their spin-oriented frame and the V-Core Pro uh, is their control-oriented frame and it can get a little confusing with the naming convention so Yonix did decide to remarket, rebrand their control frame and launch the Percept. Now if you don't know too much about tennis specs on rackets. It can get a little overwhelming or confusing to decide which one to go with. So I decided to break them up into two different categories. On the right here, I have the more beginner to intermediate level rackets with the 97 and the 100. Uh, these are gonna be a little bit easier to swing. They're gonna be a little lighter, have an open string pattern. So it'll just be a little bit easier to make contact with the ball, get some easy depth over the net. And then on my left here, you may see some of these rackets on the pro level tour used by the likes of Stan Wawrinka. Uh, Francis Tiafo and Hubi Hercots. Uh, these ones are going to be a little bit heavier, have a more dense string pattern, which is better for control. It's going to be a lot harder to get that easier access to depth. That's why it's better for more advanced or tour level players. But you have the 97H, which is still the 16 by 19 as the 97. It just is a little bit heavier. So again, it's going to be a little harsher on the arm for a beginner. And then you have the 97D and the 100D, and that D just stands for uh, dense. So it's going to be a, the string pattern is going to be a little tighter together. It's going to be better for control. Uh, you're going to be able to kind of swing with ease and place the ball uh, as you will again for some of those more advanced tour level players but for a more detailed description and all of the specifications on all these rackets follow the link down below in the description uh, and you can feel free to learn more there now as for the technology on all these rackets uh, yonix did still decide to incorporate their isometric technology which is really just going to enhance the sweet spot increase it by seven percent that's their patented technology and all their frames that they've had uh, over the last several several years or several decades more or less uh, however the latest technology incorporated into this new frame is going to be the servo filter uh, which is really just a transparent film placed in between the graphite which overall just enhances the flexibility and filters out any unneeded or unwanted vibrations and that's great for me since i don't play with a dampener so i was really able to feel like uh, this was a lot more forgiving especially with that larger sweet spot with the isometric technology uh, and then the um, Overall racket face design is also going to be a little bit stiffer. A lot of that flex is going to be down here in the shaft. Um, again, due to that servo filter and the FlexCon system that was carried over from the previous model. But overall, play test went well. I love those thinner beams. I have a one-hander. I have a really flat ball as well. So I love having a thin beam that can just glide through the air on my one-handed backhand or even my slice or, or even on my, my slice serve is, is something that I've been kind of uh, incorporated into my game and in my toolkit over the last couple of months. But overall, I thought the play test went well. Again, I would really recommend this racket for a more advanced player, but if you are itching to just give it a try or one of your favorite players on tour uses this and you're a beginner, I would definitely recommend sticking with maybe the 97 or the 100. Um, but feel free to go to tennis-point.com today, guys. Go try out a demo for yourself and give us your thoughts. I'm sure Yonix would also love to hear some of your feedback. Thanks so much for tuning in. Advantage you.